Prepare for battle. Everything looks like it's running fine. Yeah, no harm, no foul. So this is going to be four heroes on the side of the hunks. <laughs> I love that name. That is the greatest name in the qualifiers. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be four heroes at least on the side of the hunks. Do we have a smoke? Nobody picked up a smoke. Okay, that's okay. They're just going to use it to maybe defend the rune and this is actually the first time we're seeing not four heroes on both sides I mean yesterday what we had was we had four heroes from one team they come down they secure the enemy rune and then they move themselves up secure that rune and the other team would secure excuse me secure this one and move back and then secure this one with smokes and battle plans being drawn on the map and but it looks like today the Viper wants to get the blocks off in the mid lane. <laughs> the battle begins. Okay, everybody then entertaining themselves. So the Drow still needs to be careful because the Sand King's moving down for the rune. Are they just not gonna go for it? Maybe just trying to protect themselves. Look, and Illidan, yeah, moves himself back, sees the Sand King. Yeah, as far as the lane's gonna go, it's gonna be an aggro trail lane up against the dual lane with the Drow Ranger. They're probably gonna see some musical lanes. I mean, what mid lane? Diver's gonna be up, up against Ushashush. Uh, on the Viper, helping out is Puck. And top lane, it's gonna be Brewmaster against the Weaver, but we're gonna keep an eye on this bottom lane for now because it is just gonna be the duo from Spirit up against the Tri from the Hunks. And I wonder how Drow's actually going to be finding this. Um, just having to back in and back out because she does need to be careful. The Sand King, it's only level 1 Burrow Strike, so it's not the greatest range in the world. Uh, meanwhile, top lane, the Weaver is harassing down the Brewmaster. Brewmaster getting pretty down low, just needs to keep himself back, use a couple of those tangles, tangos, get himself healthy. And it looks like Kusha Shush got himself a salve in the mid lane now as the Night Stalker is moving down. But again, top lane, Phobos. He's got himself a Sakuchi. And Brewmaster's not. He's forced to use that salve. Ball lane. Heroes getting close but just dancing around each other. As in the mid, Biver just seems to run himself away from Kart. But again, top lane, this might actually be the lane we need to keep an eye on because DK Phobos is getting extremely aggressive. The chase coming out from the Night Stalker onto the Ancient Apparition is going to move himself down, just both supports picking up the other's rune. If we take a look at the last hits, it's 8 to 1. For the Luna to the 3 to 1 of the Drow. And Team Spirit, if they want to get ahead on this Drow strat, they need to change something up. Again, top lane. Phobos was doing what he can to harass down the Brewmaster. Brewmaster taking. Actually, what's he got left regen wise? He's got six tangos. But in the mid, they're making a move. Sanking's going to come across the Night Stalker. And it looks like they're just going to trade hits. Now on the ball, Illidan's getting a little bit of space, 5-1 to one to the 11-2 to two of the Luna. But Night Stalker, he's only level 2, 3 minutes in, this is going to be night time pretty soon. So he needs to be using that effectively, and again, with only level 2. The room does need to start coming out. So this Night Stalker, what's he going to do is he's just going to hang himself around the mid lane. It is impeding the experience for the puck a bit, but he does have the level above the Viper. Top lane again, DK Phobos really harassing out the Brewmaster. So 
to Phobos. He's actually queuing up the defusal blade straight away now as well. But the mischance coming out from the Brewmaster, it's keeping him fairly healthy, I guess. He's already used 10, so he's already used like 8 tangos, a salve, forced to use a wand. And now it is the night time. So Night Stalker, what's he going to do? I think he was spotted up by the courier, the... Yeah, Brewmaster comes down, sees the runes gone, so does need to be a little bit careful. He knows there's somebody about because the Weaver's not left the lane yet. So Night Stalker, nearly lo that level 3. As Phobos is just looking for the farm, but again, the Drow on the bot lane, forced actually with this pull to try and sneak the farming on the neutrals as well as the creeps that are going to be moving themselves down. Now the scan comes out, they're going to see the Night Stalker on the top lane, so Brewmaster again knows to be careful. And Drow's starting to catch up now, 16 to 21, so only about 5 behind, thanks to being able to farm those neutrals as well. Mid lane, the puck. Still one level above the Viper. In fact, it's just a bit more than one level. But nobody making an aggressive move yet. This isn't the CIS Dota I know. The CIS Dota I know, there'd be 20 kills by now and... Both teams, he's playing it safe, you know, not wanting to give any advantage away. So with the wards, they are going to be seeing, well this one's just about to wear off in the next 19 seconds, but they are going to be able to see the pulls coming out from the, the dire on this side. To me. And it looks like the stalker wants to go into the mid, backing himself off as, yeah the viper knows there's a night stalker missing, doesn't know roughly where he is, just playing safe, meanwhile top lane, DK Phobos, throwing out a bit more harass onto the brewmaster. Let's follow the NS. No. As Viper picks up that DD, so he feels safe enough to come forward now with the help from his Sand King nearby. But I think this ward spotted the Sand King moving up. In fact, it might still, it only just doesn't see the Sand King. Three heroes from the Dyer stacking up in mid. Keep an eye, Brewmaster has been forced to use all his regen, he's got himself a bottle, but he's going to be relying on runes to refill that. And again, both teams just trying to set up but not finding the opportunity to get the kills. Luna being left alone, 34 to the 23 of the Drow. If you take a look at the hero levels, level 5 to the level 4 of the draw, so it's not a big gap there, you know, net worth wise, yeah, 500 gold, so nothing major. Zildan still looking to farm up what he can. Mariachi comes in, just throws out a lucent beam, everybody moving down to the bot lane now, Beaver's going to be spotted out, there's going to be the fire blast, and the ghost comes out onto the Luna, Luna trying to run himself away, there's going to be the void coming out onto the ancient apparition, but I think ancient apparition is going to get himself away, dream coil comes out though, and the Luna, this should be first blood, the burrow strike does come through, Drow, is he going to be able to do anything about this, the silence is actually going to be the poke that picks up the kill, and now the sand king, being chased down, the void stir, the silence as well to make sure he can't burrow strike away, in the next second the silence comes out, right clicks by the puck. Puck doesn't have an orb. So the split comes out from the Brewmaster, giving the Weaver a free lane, but it does mean that the Puck isn't going to be able to find the second kill onto the Sand King as the Luna TPs herself up to the top lane. Weaver, level 8, got the point into the time lapse and going towards the Diffusal Blade. But Spirit. Pick up the first blood, closes the net worth, well, 
I say that, it's only it's still a 400 net worth difference between the two carries. But with the Brewmaster being down here now, this should go in favour of the Drow Ranger. Close to that level 6. Top lane, Swarm's going to be thrown out, Marachi taking a lot of damage from the Weaver. And... What's Viper? There's going to be a smoke coming out, Viper and Sanking. Smoke's broken, by down on the low ground. Just moves himself back. So it is going to be a standoff as... The Viper TPs himself back into the mid lane, but the TP looks like it was ca it's actually cancelled from both the Sand King as well as... <laughs> yeah, mini stuns coming out, it looks like, from the Night Stalker. Means that the Viper has to fly back to lane. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. A prize. Stalker, protecting the regen room for the puck. And now on top lane, the make it a go, the Eclipse has been popped and Weaver gets squashed like the bug he is. Mariachi picking up that kill, one for one, ten minutes in. Bot lane now. Brew got himself a bounty rune. Just relying on that bottle for regen and the mischance comes out from Illidan. That's going to be really upsetting. Trying to get the right click slow down a slight bit, but... It's only one point into the frost arrow, so it's not the biggest of slows. Ice Blast coming out. Illidan stood in it. Is there going to be a move there from the Brewmaster now? Uses the primal split. Illidan running himself away, looking for a TP. Maybe. And the body blocks come out, but the panda's just going to run themselves straight through it. It could be the ogre giving himself up as the sacrifice, and Brew doesn't find anything, just lets the drow run away. And our mid lane being given to the Night Stalker, it is night time in the next 33 seconds, so he should be able to just... Just get maybe level 6 before that comes up. You want top lane, they do make a move, they take down the Sand King on the top lane. Gonna be the Weaver and the Puck securing that kill, so it looks like they're gonna be putting a little bit of pressure onto the T1 tower top. The Ice Blast does come in, stops the creeps. But now bot lane, level 7 on the draw, 4 points into the position, or has actually used it for the Catapult to help with the push. Sand King, what are you going to do? Dyer's top tower oh, he's just going to stay top, so we're not going to help the rest of his team look for the ganks as the Night Stalker is invis. There's going to be the ghost coming out as well as the ice arrows. But again, still only level 1 on those frost arrows. There's the Sand King stays top, not looking for the ganks. He looks like the Ancient Apparition uses the ice blast, but going to be taken down. <laughs> the uphill miss means FNG secures that kill. And now four heroes from Team Spirit can put pressure onto the tier 1 tower on the bot lane. And this is what they need to be doing now. Really starting taking map control, pushing early on before the Luna can get a lot of farm, um, a lot of net worth up and become a little bit of a nightmare for these fights. We're going to see the puck take down the Brewmaster. Actually used the Dream Coil for that. Okay, meanwhile top lane TP from the Sun King is going to be able to get there in time and time lapse used by the Weaver. So Luna, got herself the Morbid Mask going towards that Mask of Madness. Gonna be able to pick that up now. Got herself the Dragon Lance, as well as the Blightstone, Night Stalker. Does he see the Luna? And is there gonna be any rotation for this? Looks like he's just stalking the Luna through the trees. 
Bowser's RP on point. Sun King coming in, three points into the Bro Strike. Does he want to try and make a move? No, nope, just going to pull the creep leave back. So, four for one, 14 minutes in. 4k net worth advantage here. The Weaver's going to come around the back. Beaver's going to be there as well. There's going to be the Sandstorm. DK Phobos, the Bro Strike, come on to the high ground. And Puck does have the Blink Dagger as well as the Dream Coil. But once again, three heroes in the mid for Team Spirit. Phobos on the high ground is going to see Ush Ush Ush. Reichless going to be there with the Diffusal Blade now as well. Viper being slowed down. Nether Toxin going to be dropped. I'm sure the fortification was used. Was it for the T1 tower in the mid lane? It looks like it was. There's going to be the Lucent Beam. The Ice Blast comes through. It's going to be a wee bit off the mark as Beaver just runs himself away. The Orb comes through. It does just hit Puck on the, the edge, but the damage isn't going to be there. And now the TP comes up from the Night Stalker, but it's not going to be enough. Stood in that Nether Toxin. So what's uh, the plan here for Team Spirit? Are they going to try and group up and put the game to bed at mid lane? Sun King does go down to the puck. So it's 5 for 2, 15 minutes in. We're starting to get there boys and girls on the kills. We are starting to get the Puck secures the T1 tower on the mid lane. Viper comes through the blinks for us. There's going to be the silence as well and instantly orbs himself back. Not knowing who else is about Luna, there's going to be the Eclipse and Beaver runs straight into it, tries to fly himself away, but takes the Moonbeams to the face. Bobo's going for the rune, going to be able to chase down the Brewmaster now, pops the Diffusal Blade, but with the mischance coming up from the Brewmaster. Brewmaster getting pretty low, it's actually going to be Phobos picking that up. The split. Didn't have the mana to use it. So the silence comes out and the Viper can't TP himself away as the Dream Core was used meanwhile top lane. Lucent Beam comes out onto the Drow Ranger. Mariachi just trying to do what he can. FNG is hidden in the trees. So they could try and make it another two kills on this top lane. Darkness used Marachi slowed by the Diffusal Blade Phobos just making work of the team of the Hunks and it's gonna be the Dagon picked up by the Puck to secure this kill so 16 minutes in 17 minutes in 7k net worth advantage 8 to 3 this is the advantage that I was talking about being able to take all this map control they may not need to end by 30 minutes but if they can go in with a strong position into that mid to late game there's no reason why Spirit shouldn't be able to win this Though, on the other side, if we take a look at the items, Ush Ush Ush, he's got himself the Dragon Lance, Mariachi, Mask of Madness, going towards an Aghanim Scepter. Ooh. Ice Blast comes through trying to scout out Roshan, but no one from Team Spirit's in there. So Kurt, what's he going to try and do here with the scan coming up from the Radiant? If he hangs around a little bit too long, he's going to be food for the Night Stalker. It's going to be a smoke between the A and the Sand King. Moving the way down. Weaver though does have the time lapse available and he's level 15. Level 16 now, so that's going to be all four points in each of his spells. Epicenter being channeled, but the Sakuchi comes out to get themselves away. And it's a waste of two ultimates. This ward spotting it out. And Weaver played it perfectly. So Rush is actually now being attempted. Phobos going to be there for the backup as well. It's only two heroes from the side of Hunks. Ush, Ush, Ush and the Brewmaster. They could really do something about this. The rest of the Hunks are moving in. But is it going to be in time? Roshan going to take a fall. 
Brewmaster. Looks like he is going to be able to secure FNG, at least Phobos moves in. There's going to be the Ghost stopping the Primal Split from coming out, at least for now, and the Sounds comes out from Beaver as well. Yeah, it's going to be a Brewmaster dying the time. What comes out from the Weaver? Up oh, comes through Dream Coil. Is there onto two with the Dagon? They take down the Luna once again. Phobos secures that kill cut, throws out the Ice Blast, but he's going to be killed by Illidan. Oh, shush, sure, sure. The Ghost comes out. There's going to be the Frost Hour slowing him down as well. Is there going to be a Diffusal Blade usage? He's up in three seconds, so the Viper falls. Four for one and an Aegis. So Team Spirit, 12 to 4, 20 minutes in. And now this tier 3 tower, no Luna for 20 seconds. So Spirit, are they going to move themselves up to the high ground with the Ogre Magi coming in as well? Cold feet used on Phobos, he just Sakuchis to the other side and carries on hitting the tower. And with the Aegis, can sit himself up onto the high ground. Luna TPing herself in now. Cold feet Sakuchi away once again. There's going to be the Lucent Beam, and the Cold Freak does proc, but is there going to be any follow up? There's now the puck. Level 3 Dagon. Sand King, there's going to be the silence coming out, big Dream Call as well, Phobos able to take down the Sand King, is he? Oh, is the Dream Call going to keep him in position as he uses the Sandstorm, and now they do take down the Brewmaster, instantly buys himself back, Phobos getting up, right clicks down, one more right click, should be able to take down the Ancient Apparition, time lapses himself away, does still have the Aegis and he can carry on fighting, they take down the tier 3 tower now as well. So Team Spirit don't want to stop. Nether Toxin dropped, but Illidan just moves himself to the left of it. Phobos again still has the Aegis, and this Range Rack's taking out a lot of damage. The split does come out. FNG trying to run himself away. Illidan stunned up. Hurricane comes out onto the Weaver now as well. FNG hiding himself in the trees, trying to keep himself healthy as the Weaver just tries to right click down. Usher oh, Shush, the Gust comes out now as well. Once again, the Puck jumps in with a clutch silence. And they secure the kill onto the Viper. Illidan chased down by the Brewmaster, but it looks like it's not going to be enough. Nope, oh, Puck's disconnected, but in the middle of the fight, you keep going, as GG's going to be called. So 21 minutes in, the Drow Strat from Spirit pays off. 19 to 4. It did start off a little bit slow, but Spirit found the pace. And we're able to make uh, the advantage count. So we are going to be moving on to the second game. It is a best of three. Um, HFC trying to force this game to a game three. I do believe if we take a look at the bracket. If HFC lose the next match, the are out of the qualifiers. Spirit will move on to play up against Effect tomorrow um, at the same time. Oh, a little bit later on at 1900 CET. But we're going to be moving into game two. And after that, we do have... Double Dimension versus M19 coming up, so it is going to be at least one more game in this match. And then a second match coming up later today, so stick around and we'll be right back. <laughs> 